Welcome to Piney Grove, folks. I'm Brad. I'm Deb. And we're out here today on our property. We've already introduced Bella in a video by throwing some little snippets and some pictures in one of uh, the videos. I think where we're actually grading um, the concrete of the pole barn. But today is Bella's first day. Bella being our Brittany Spaniel dog, not Bella the neighbor's dog. But this is Bella the Brittany's first day out on the farm. Trying to catch up to Bella and Deb. It's Bella's first time ever on the property. So if you've never seen a bird dog work, you can see they get low to the ground, their nubbies going, and you see that nose is low to the ground. We don't know if she's ever been in the country before. We picked her up as a owner surrender that just couldn't couldn't deal with a energetic dog. It's a divorced lady that had a couple of, or had a newborn baby and then another young child. And so we got her from her a few months ago and she's never been out to the farm. So this is her first time on the farm. Literally her first time, her first minutes on the farm. Possibility she could find a quail up against that edge. That's where they've been before. A lot of growth in Too exciting. But I swear she goes out short after the deer smell. Going after all the smells. Everything's new to her. basically pulling Deb around. So the Bellas have met. Neighbor Bella is, of course, not on leash, and our Bella is because our Bella can get out of too many places here, and we don't trust her, and she is fast. So they have met, and I think they would play well if my Bella wasn't on a leash. Oh, okay, well, we're doing that, apparently. Apparently we're meeting one another again. But so far, so good. We did, thanks to neighbor Bella, discover a breach that she can get in through a drainage pipe that we didn't think she was small enough to, but showed us a vulnerability because if Bella, neighbor Bella can get in, then our Bella can get out. So another reason why our Bella is not running free just yet in here, but she's enjoying the smells. What you doing, Bradford? <sighs> Trying to keep other people's dogs out of our property so that our dogs can enjoy our property. <laughs> yep. We discovered that neighbor Bella, even with the property completely fenced, got in and followed us. And Brad was able to watch her go through a drainage pipe. And not even this big drainage pipe, but a very small drainage pipe we have next to the driveway. So we had some rebar holding down some hay bales to divert water. So Mr. Resourceful here pulled up the rebar, found some, a piece of extra fencing. And there's the keep neighbor Bella fix out of the property. Because as ornery as our Bella is, this one is even more ornery. So we want to also secure the property so our Bella can't get out through the culverts. Maybe once this is done, we'll actually take her off lead for a little bit and let her run. She's pretty tired. Well, can't hold the camera and the leash. I think we can <laughs> let her off leash and with her, a lot of her steam knocked out of her sails, so we'll see. So what we want to do today is just share the story of how we got this 14 or 16 month Brittany and uh, we'll, we'll start off with, we had an 11 year old Brittany Spaniel. So we've had two Brittany Spaniels or Brittany's as they're called, um, Gunner and Bailey. And Bailey's about 15 years old now. She's 13. Bailey's 13 years old. 
And she had a heart condition when she was a puppy. She, we've actually had some, uh, we had to take her to Gainesville and have uh, a procedure done for her heart. We didn't think she'd live but a couple years. And so we got another Brittany Spaniel so Deb wouldn't be so sad when Bailey passed early. Well, Bailey's still alive and Deb and her daughter went up to North Georgia and got Gunner. And Gunner was our boy, Brittany Spaniel, and uh, he was a mess. He was uh, full of energy. He kind of like this Bella, he didn't listen, um, but he was fun. It was fun to be around and, and we, we kind of, you know, did everything we could uh, to, so he would have a happy long life. But then there at the end, we think cancer or something got to him. We took him to a lot of vets and uh, it just, we, we couldn't figure it out. And, and uh, it was unfortunately his time to go. So Gunner passed and we decided as a family that we were not gonna get any more dogs. And we weren't even sure if we were gonna get Britney's anymore. So we were looking at other breeds, but we decided we weren't gonna get another dog until we came out here on the property, which will be, and live full time, which will be in about three years. Well, I came out to the property one day to do some mowing and uh, I was en route to the property. It's an hour from our house. And I got a text from Mrs. Piney Grove here <laughs> with a picture of this thing from Facebook. And she said something about it's an owner surrender. Um, and she needs to be fostered. I don't know, this or that. And I thought she was actually at a, um, at a rescue up here near the property. So I was thinking maybe I'll stop by and take a look at her. I, I really didn't want a dog another dog at this time. We'd already made that decision. So I guess at this point, I'll hand it over to Deb and she'll tell her side of the story. So I was editing the Gunner piece and of course upset when I was editing it because we missed him so much. And that's when we had the discussion that we weren't gonna get any more dogs soon. We have a 13 year old, we have a 15 year old little tiny dog and we weren't gonna get any more dogs when we came up to the property. And that was probably at eight o'clock um, this particular evening. And the next morning, I was uh, hopped on Facebook real quick, and there was a private message from a local rescue that we've known for years and just been friends with them. And they reached out to me with a picture of her saying she was an unspayed female, and they were afraid that she was going to get given away or sold and overbred. So I see Britney's all the time on Facebook. I'm part of Britney groups but there was something about this girl that just tugged at my heartstrings. So we had discussed if we would get another dog, it probably wouldn't be a Brittany. And Brad has always been opposed to getting an older dog. And I understand we would get a puppy. So when I text him a picture of her and she was already one, so she wasn't a little puppy, I really didn't think I had a snowball's chance in uh, Florida <laughs> of, of getting her. And uh, he called me and we spoke and I cried. I don't know why I cried, but there was just something about this girl that just tugged at me. So he agreed to let me go get her and we would just see, maybe we'd foster her. Well, I had her 20 minutes and I knew I didn't want to get rid of her. She came to us in heat with a awful, awful UTI, um, untrained. Fleas, uh, she had some fleas, not many, but she fleas. had some fleas. But she had been loved, they loved her. She had not been abused. You could tell by her demeanor, she was happy. So we ended up with Bella and it's been a um, very interesting three and a half months with her, but she, we just wouldn't trade her. She's full of energy. She's full of sass. She's a mess, <laughs> but she, we would. There's workers her. behind the camera working on my parents' house. And uh, I think she just realized that. Plus I took her nose lead off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, she's a horrible puller, which we're still working on. And the nose lead makes it where she doesn't hurt herself. Um, we had her on the property for two hours today. I've literally been walking her around for two hours, hoping that she can calm down a little bit. And we're going to take her off lead and let her run. Um, she'd been kept on a rope most of her life, run a kennel. We have a nice yard. She's been running free. But this will be the most freedom she's probably ever had. We wanted to make sure she was worn out before we released her because there are a couple places in the back of the property where the fence lifts up and the, there's there's areas of thick woods on our property so i'm nervous about it probably more nervous than he is but we want to give her freedom but uh she did not ever have a fenced in backyard and if you don't know about Brittany's, um they, they love to run 
Deb walks her almost every day, probably a mile or so. Oh, and that's just enough to, to knock the edge off so that uh, she's tolerable. So I guess what I'm saying about Brittany Spaniels is if you're wondering, uh, you know, stumbled across this video and you're wondering, should I get one? You know, don't do it if you have an apartment and no fenced in yard or you're not willing to walk, you know, a mile or two a day, every day, regardless of the weather, because they turn into little tyrants if you don't, if you don't wear out that energy. They, they do, they require a lot. They require a lot of, um, of patience. They're stubborn, they're ridiculously smart, um, they're fast. She is the fastest animal I've seen in a really long time. She literally bounds and leaps um, like a gazelle, but they need, they need patience. They're, they're, they're loving and they're loyal, but they're stubborn and they're fast. She, um, she has not jumped over our fence. She could very easily. She's not figured it out. We hope and pray she does not figure it out. But like Brad said, unless you're willing to dedicate the time to work with them, the patience to know that they're going, they're gonna, our Bailey learned to get ice and water out of the refrigerator. She learned to open doors and let herself out. She, I mean, she just, she, she learned how to pop open certain baby gates. They're very smart. They require um, a lot, but what you get in return is a lot of love and a lot of laughs because they're they're just they're just a fun breed so we're gonna um put a correction collar on her and um anybody that's had a, a working dog or this type of dog a correction collar is not painful for them it just grabs their attention um she has to have a correction collar for her own good and her own safety so we're going to put a correction collar on her um and we're going to we're going to let her run i'm going to let her run i'm going to get on the other end of the pasture and deb's going to be on this end and I cannot outrun this dog, but hopefully she'll listen good enough in this front pasture that uh, we can at least see what happens. And we, we, we hope may, we don't lose her. We may make her drag the leash just so we can step on it <laughs> because she, she can outrun anybody here. So, all right, stay tuned. vibration so we're excited this is the most freedom she's ever had <sighs> so many smells we're making her drag the leash because if we have to get close enough to step on it but she's she's doing good yeah see she changes direction when Brad calls her she starts to head back towards her she runs with complete joy and happiness like a gazelle. Hmm. She is stubborn. She's doing good considering this is a, it's a big piece of land that she's, well, for us and for her. But, um, but she's staying, she's coming back. She went in the woods for a minute. Well, not even a minute couple seconds and that's where her interest is but she's responding to the vibration of the correction collar so that's good hey baby ah oh, baby Good girl, Bella. Good girl. You're a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We took the leash off. We figured she we're not going to get close enough to her anyway to step on the leash. So she's responding really well to uh, commands and the uh, vibration of the 
correction collar. So she's just enjoying all the smells and the freedom. <laughs> We're trying to keep her in the open area of the pasture. That way we can see her. You're yeah. being so good, Barry. You're being such a good girl. What a good girl. Hmm. Someone's gonna sleep so good tonight. Hey. We haven't seen this yet. We have not seen this girl tired outside. She, she went from laying down, I mean from running to laying down. She's tired. She's had a busy day. So we came out to the property just to do a couple things today. Um, one of the main things I wanted to accomplish was to get our Bella a little bit of freedom and see how she did in a wide open space. And she did very, very well. Um, so I'm very, very pleased about that. So while we were out here, Bradford decided to go ahead and mow the front pastures. We also checked in on his parents' house. They're putting in cabinets. So a good day, fix the culvert to keep neighbor Bella from coming in. Got our Bella a little bit of free time and let her, let us see how well she would do off leash if she would, how well her recall was, and it's much better. And we checked on Brad's parents' house and Brad's mowing. Good day. All right, folks, I think that about wraps it up for today. We did, uh, did a little bit of everything today. We unloaded some railroad ties. We brought Bella to the farm for the first time, our Bella. Our Bella met neighbor's Bella, the pit bull. Uh, we let her run for the first time. I think we caught that on camera. And uh, we did some mowing. Mowing in February in Florida. There's a, a bunch of thatch left over from November when I mowed. And I wanted to mix that up so that uh, it wasn't killing the grass that's coming up underneath. It's February. It's 70 some degrees in, in here in Florida. And it's, uh, things are getting ready to green up. So it was a good time to just knock that down and uh, spread out all that thatch and get ready for the spring green up. But that's all I got. You got anything, babe? That's all I got. It was a good day. We got to let... Uh... Little belly smelly run around, and I think we're gonna have a good quiet night as a result of that. Yeah, I think uh, she's gonna sleep that whole hour drive home. She'll probably wake up in time for dinner and then she'll go right to bed. This is the most exercise she's had in the three months or so that we've had her. So, like we always say, please click like at the bottom. That really helps out our channel. The things you can do to help out our channel are watch our videos, number one, two, click that like at the bottom. Three, share with your friends so that they watch our videos and click the like at the bottom and subscribe if you haven't already. But uh, otherwise, that's all we've got. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care, y'all. Take care.